up for three popular restaurants near the Missouri Botanical Garden. At the end of the year, Nixta, Olio, and Elia will head north near the Del Mar Loop. Mm -hmm. The three restaurants have been a mainstay in the Botanical Heights neighborhood near I-44 at Vandeventer. News 4 Shoshana Stahl joins us from the neighborhood tonight with more on why they're moving. Shoshana. Yeah, Corey, the Botanical Heights neighborhood is home to a lot of well-known St. Louis restaurants like Olia and Elia, like you just mentioned, and they've just celebrated their 10 year anniversary here in this neighborhood. Now it's a bittersweet time for them here because the owner is planning to move them out by the end of the year. He said he's seen a lot of positive change here in this neighborhood, and he hopes to do the same in another part of the city. I got to see a dream come true, which is very rare, and I got to see a, a, a vision materializing and uh, very few people can say that. Restaurants fill the streets in the Botanical Heights neighborhood. Ben Peremba owns several of them, including Olio, Elia, Nixta, La Patisserie, and Ayo & Co. This is a vibrant, uh, lively, uh, very, very, um, very happy, very, uh, very loved neighborhood right now. But come 2024, Olio, Elia, and Nixta will move to the Del Mar Maker District on Del Mar between Kings Highway and Union. Perumba says he wanted to buy the buildings his restaurants are currently in, but wasn't able to, making this move a bittersweet one. Trying to sort of break that stigma that Del Mar has and, and you know, um, bring some, some positive attention to it as opposed to being the marker of, of just the divide and being the marker of, uh, of, of Bad things. Doug Auer co-founded the Third Degree Glass Factory on Del Mar 20 years ago. Within the last five years, he's seen a drastic change. These new restaurants will bring even more attention to the area. There are jobs, there are um, just more things to do. For me, the most important thing is that one of the things that we've battled for 20 years here is this feeling of safety and security. The best solution, in my opinion, is people and having the street activated, having density here, whether it's during the day or at night, is really, really, really important. Abandoned buildings and vacant lots now turned into construction sites. Ayer says he wants to see the growth continue, but he says there needs to be more affordable housing offered. That's huge for me. Uh, it's, it's something that is a challenge in this city and many cities, having these walkable communities. So our goal is to get people to move into the neighborhood and have a lot of the goods and services that they need at their fingertips. Perumba says not only is he moving those three restaurants to the Del Mar Maker District, but he's also planning to open up another one. Now these locations are going to close up shop by the end of the year. Live in Botanical Heights, Shoshana Stahl, News 4. Shoshana, thank you. Tyson